Aqulu billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome everybody who's in the class and Jazakumullah for turning up on time. Uh, just a quick reminder: if you are signing up um, with the wrong ID, could you please log out and then log in again with your correct assigned IDs? Also, can you, uh, all students make sure that their videos are off? Um, a very quick reminder about etiquette of the classroom that TIFL should have their heads covered with topis and uh, so should Nasrat have um, their heads covered with a headscarf. Uh, and I hope before the class everyone has done their resume. Um, and then with that we can start our class. A triple one zero. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Fine. Good, Alhamdulillah. Um, will you help me with the starting prayer? Okay. Um, it's let me highlight it and then you can follow me. It's this one here. So, yeah. Bob, oh, do you, yeah. do you want to do it yourself? Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead. Rabbi Alimni Ma Huwa Khairun Indaka. Very good. And can you do the translation for me, Sahil? Oh, my Lord, teach me what is the best for me in your knowledge. Well done. Thank you for that. Um, that was A triple one zero. Yes. Okay, Zagula. Okay, so let's move on to the lesson. So our lesson, let's move this right to the top. So our lesson is rules of the fox, and I know you've been doing this for the past two lessons. Um, the reason that we are giving this time uh, so much time to this rule is because it is slightly difficult. Um, so uh, that's why we're giving it extra time. So um, I'll quickly remind you again um, how to, uh, what waqf is, okay? So waqf is the Arabic for stopping or pausing, okay? So during the recitation of pausing at the end of a meaningful sentence or a verse with a break of breath, it is called waqf. So for example, when you are reading the reciting the Holy Quran, um, it might be that you have very long verses and your breath is short and therefore you cannot complete the whole verse. That means um, to um, that in between you might need to stop at a word. So that's called waqf and there's a certain way to do waqf, okay? Um, and uh, you've been learning that over the last couple of days and we'll practice that further to, uh, today, okay? So, um, if we move on to the exercise, I believe um, you finished, uh, you were almost done with this exercise except for these last two lines. So what I'll do is I'll start off with this line here. Um, and I'll choose a student for that. And then if we finish this off, and I'll just choose students at random um, to have a go at um, a few words uh, so that all of you can get more practice, okay? So let's choose a student for this. Can I have, let's see, N1202, Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, very alhamdulillah. Um, how have you been finding the lessons of work? Is it something that you're understanding? Yes. Very good. Um, do you want to help me here with this box here? Yes. Ala ashko. Okay, that's how you would say it. No, uh, Normally, do you want to try to say that once more for me? Allah ashqa. Uh, sorry, just give me a second. I have someone else entering. Mm, sorry, 
let's just see. Okay, there we go. Okay. Say this once more for me, please. Ala Ashka. Very good. Um, so but when you do rock, it would become. Do you know how you would do it? Um, if you're uh, doing rock. Should I help you with that? Yes. So normally if you, um, because, okay, so you see this round dot here, normally when you have that, that means you're pausing, okay? So if, if this wasn't there, then you would have said al ashqa but if you're doing work, you make this qaf a bit longer, al ashqa al ashqa very good. Do you want to have a go at this one? Nahamahu. Very good. And if you've got, um, uh, if you're doing vox, what would you do? You would make it longer. Stop. You stop. Yes. And so do you know what the correct way of stopping here is? There is something that would happen to this last letter over here. Do you remember? Ma. Ha, ma. Ma. Very good. This ha will have um, the sign on top of it will change and it will become a school. So it would become therefore na ama. Na ama. Very good. Well done. Do you want to have a go at this one here? Akalan Laman. Uh, okay, hang on. Let me just just give me one second. I'm having a bit of an issue with my computer. If you just give me one second. Assalamualaikum, co-host. Are you in? I am in DTS. Okay. Okay, that's great. Okay. So sorry about that. Um, do you want to help me once again? Say this once more for me. This box here. This word. Akalan Lama. Okay, so can you see here this lamb? What does this lamb have on top of it? Shadda. A shadda. So what does that mean? You have to join this lamb with the previous letter. The previous letter in this case is a alif. It doesn't have any sign on top of it. Okay, so that means we cannot join it with this blank alif. Therefore, what we will do is we will look at the letter before that. What is the letter before that? Lam. A lam. And it has a? A fatatin. Very good. So what we learned earlier in previous lessons is that when you're joining this lam with this uh, lam mushaddid, you will read only one fatha. Yes? Okay. So if there is only one fatha on top of this lamb, how would you join this with this lamb then? Do you know? Um, Akalala. Very good. Okay, that was very good. Just when there is a mushadid letter, you, when you join the two letters, um, you stress it. That means that you have to give it some time. Meaning that when you join them together, you should um, try to produce a sound for about two seconds. So, what I would do is so the correct way would be la la. Okay, so I'm stressing the l sound la la. La la. Good. So, do you want to try this whole thing once more for me? Akalalama. Okay, so you did this very well. You joined the la the two lamps very well. Now the same thing is happening here with the meme. It has a. What does this have on top of it? Um, fatatin. Yes, and this um highlighted thing. What is this? This W like shape. What is that? Shadda. A shadda. Very good. So because this meme has a shadda, what does that this mean? What must I do? I must join it with this previous letter, which is a? Lam. Lam. So if I join this lam with this meme, what sound will I be making? Lam. 
Very good. Very good. Now, do you want to have a go at this whole word? Yes, but remember, I told you when you join a mushaddad letter, you ha there is this joining sound, this stressful sound, yeah? This stressing sound. So that means when I join this lam with this meme, I need to create this sound, str uh, this stressing sound for about two seconds, yes? Does that make sense? Yes. So, how I would say it is, lum. Can you hear how I'm give? I'm giving it two seconds. When I join the lam and the meme, because of this W like shape, this mushadded sign on top of the meme, I'm um, making this sound for two seconds, uh, and that means that I'm stressing it. Okay, so lum. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to have a go at this whole word again for me? Very good. And now do you want to have a go at this whole word? Very good. Um, so, Aklalaman. Aklalaman. Very good. And if I was to do vux here, do you know how I would say this? Um, Lama, Lama. Um, yes. So what I would do, um, I wouldn't read the tanween. I would just read this as a fatha. So mean with a fatha with a alif. So that means that um, this would become a alif. Uh, madda, okay. So, how I would, if I was to do wax here, I would say, ak lalama, ak lalama. Very good. Do you want to say that once more for me? Ak lalama. Very good. So the meme you would just make longer. That's only, so if you were to do vux, that's how you would say this, okay? Okay. Good. Do you want to have a go at this box here? Lam yantahi. Very good. And if I was to do vux, how would I do this? Lam yanta. Very good. Say that once more for me. Lam yanta. Okay, so at the end, I need to hear this slight ha voice, so slight jerk voice of the ha. So, lam yauta. Lam yauta. Very good. Say that once more for me. Lam yauta. Very good. And do you want to have a go at this last box here for me? Khati atin. Very good. Just remember with the ha, it's a thick letter. So um, it should be read um, slightly in a uh, thicker. It, it, it has a more rounder, rounder kind of um, pronunciation. So um, the correct way, uh, way of saying it is ha, not ha, ha. Ha. Yeah, but after the kha, there is an alif. So that means the kha you have to make longer because what kha, what alif is this? Do you remember? Silent letter. Um, not in this case. Because look, before the alif, what? So if you look at the letter before the alif, um, what sign does it have on top of it? Fatha. But uh, I remember a few lessons back we learned about um, mud letters. There are three mud letters, Alif, Vau and Ya, okay? And um, we learned in that lesson, um, when there is a Alif, a blank Alif, you look at the letter before, and if that letter has a Fatha on top of it, 
then this alif becomes a alif mad. Okay? Okay. So what does that mean? So if this alif is a alif madda, what does this mean? When you pronounce it, how should you pronounce it? What difference does this make? This prolongs the letter. Very good. What letter does it pro prolong? The ha. Very good. Well done. So do you want to have another go at this for me? Ha di adim. Very good, well done. And if I was to do Vakfe, what how would I say this? Try that once more for me. Very very good. Very good. Um this tanveen so this um kastatain will change into a Spoon. Okay, so therefore I would say Very good, well done, that's excellent. Jazakallah for your help. Jazakallah. Um, can I please have another student for the last line over here? Uh, yes, um, discipline in charge is now in the class, so if you can okay. make a post. Okay. There we go. Assalamualaikum, discipline in charge. Can you hear me? The mouth could you Islamic um. Islamic discipline in charge, can you hear me? Uh, Walaikum Islam. Um, what is your ID? A1125. A1125. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll get you to help me out with the final line. If you just give me one minute. Aslamikum, As 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 can you hear me now? I can hear you. The discipline in charge is having some issues. Um, okay. I will remain your co-host. Okay. Fine. You do have a young default A1125 on the mic with you, sir. Yeah. Okay. I'll have him this. Assalamualaikum A1125. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, can you help me with this box over here? Yes. Very good. And if I was to do works here, how would I say this? Uh. Do you remember how, how you would do works on over here? No. Okay, so if there is a um, vertical so sorry so if there is a tanveen on top of this um hamza it turns into a sukoon yeah? yeah so if you imagine that there is a sukoon on top of this hamza how would you say this Dif very good so you would hear the uh, hamza sound a little bit this Dif yeah so you need to hear so when you say it, I need to hear the Hamza sound a little bit, uh, the tiny uh, sound, yeah? So a little jerk sound. Diff. Diff. Okay, good. Um, do you want to have a go at this box here? What's... What's... Okay. What letter is this highlighted over here? 
Oh, very good. So do you want to have another go at saying this word? What? What? Yeah, and? What? Uh, what? Uh, so at the end, can you see there's an olive? Yes. Yeah, and what does the olive have on top of it? Yes, very good. So, how do you say that then? What an... Very good, well done. What an... An... Very good. And if I was to do Vox here, do you know how I would say this? Do you remember? No. No? Okay, that's fine. Um, so what you would do, instead of saying the fatha sign, this will become just a fatha, okay? So, vata a... Vata a... Very good. Do you want to say that once more for me? Vata a... Very good. Do you want to have a go at this box? Should, Very good. And if I was to do work fair, what would you? How how would I say this? Should. Do you want to try that once more? Should. Okay. So the rule is that the tanveen, the fatatain, will change into a vertical fatat. So what you would say then is Suda. Suda. Okay. Do you want to say that once more? Suda. Very good. Do you want to have a go at this box for me? Sunashid. Say that once more for me. I couldn't hear you properly. Okay, do you remember? Okay, so what sign does this dial have on top of it? Do you remember? No. It's a dhamma, okay? And do you remember how long a dhamma sound should be? Yes. How long? One. One second. Very good. So, do you want to have a go at this once more? Remember and remember that this dial sound shouldn't be longer than one second. Okay. So I should do. Okay. So, how I would say it is, Sana should do. Very good. Do you want to try that once more? Very good. So can you see the dial has this um, W like sign? Do you know what that is? This sign here. Shadda. Very good. So that means I must join this dial with the previous letter, which is this sheen over here. Okay? Okay. So therefore, what I do is I stress this sound. So when I join this sheen and this dal, I stress this sound, okay? When I join these two, when I glue these two words together, I must stress it for about two seconds. So I would say, should do. Should do. Very good. Sana should do. Should do. So, do you want to say the whole word once for me? Sana should do. Very good. And do you want to have a go at this last one here? With a. Uh... Very good. Uh, oh, so 
that's how w- when would I say this? So you know, you said rid ah, is that me doing vakf or not doing vakf? I'll help you. What sign does this alif have on top of it? Very good. So if I uh, was not doing work here, how would I say this? How would I say this alif with the fatatain on top of it? And do you remember what sound is created? Ah. Uh. Um, when it has a fatatain, it's un. Okay? Okay. So if there was... Um, if I wasn't stopping here, if I was continuing my verse, I would have said Rida an okay. But if there if I am stopping, um if I am doing work, what would I say? Uh... very good. So do you want to have a go at this whole word for me, please? With uh very good. Well then, Jazakallah for your help. Um, that was very good. Okay. Um, what we'll do now is we'll, um, I'll choose a few students and um, we'll have a practice of um, a few words from this exercise. So, um, discipline in charge, can I please have another student, please? Yes, you um, will now have uh, a default A1113. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu How are you? Okay. Very good. Alhamdulillah. Um, how have you been finding this lesson of work? I know you've been doing it for the last few lessons. Um, uh, is it, are you understanding it? Yes. Very good. That's very good. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll highlight a word and if you can have a go at saying it for me, please. So let's do this one here. Ladeya. Very good. And if I was doing vux, how would I say this? Ladey. Very good. That's very good. Um, just one thing to remember is what does this ya have on top of it? What sign signs Fata. does it have? Fata and what else? This W like uh, shape, what's it called? Do you remember? Shadda. Shadda, very good. So remember I said when there is a shadda, um, it means you have to stress that sound. So w- when you join it with the previous letter, you must stress it. There must be a stressing sound there created, okay? So instead of saying la day really quickly, I need to um, stress that sound for two seconds. So the correct way would be la day. Can you hear how I stressed the sound ye for two seconds? La day. La day. La day. Okay, we have to make sure that this is not um, made into a um, so we have to make sure that this doesn't become ladai because this is not a lean this is not a harufa lean here ladai ladai very good, you want to have to uh, do you want to have another go at this? La day. Very good. Well done. Um, do you want to have a go, go at? Uh, let's see this letter here. More, more so. Um. So let's try this without you doing work. So if you were saying this in a verse, 
and you were continuing on, how would you say it? Very good. And um, if you were doing work, what would you do? Okay, so um, in this case, there's actually no change. Um, so when you so when you do work here, there will actually be no change. So um, if you were doing work, it would be the same. Mursaha. Mursaha. Good. Well done. Um, let's do this letter here as well then. Very good. And if I was doing work, how would I say this? Very good. Well done. Jazakallah for your help. Can I please have another student? Yes, you'll have two um, Nasra now, um, N1223 and one, uh, N1224. Two, two, also, you can okay, Assalamu alaikum, N1223. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good. Good, alhamdulillah. And how have you been finding um, the Vakf lesson? Um, tricky. Tricky, okay, that's okay, that's fine. That's why we're doing this lesson, to help you understand. Um, and um, hopefully, inshallah, you'll be fine. Um, so if I, uh, let's start with this letter here. Do you want to have a go at this? If I was saying this letter in A line, so if I was... Um, not doing work here. How would I say this? Nudia. Okay, that's correct, except for one thing. The what type of vowel is this here? Do you remember? No. No. Okay. So a few lessons back, we covered uh, the mud lessons, right? So and uh, we and it, so. There are three mud letters, alif, vowel, and ya, okay? So there's a vowel here, a vowel sakin, yes? Yeah. So what we need to do is look at the letter before the vowel sakin. It's a noon, but the important thing here is for us to check what the sign on top of this noon is. And uh, do you recognize what the, this sign is on top of the noon? A dhamma. Very good, a dhamma. And so we learned in that lesson that if before the vowel sakin there is a, a letter with a dhamma, then this vowel becomes a vowel mud. Yes? Yeah. So if this vowel has become a vowel mud, what must I do to the sound? Um... So if this is a vowel mud, the noon sound, will it be one second long or two seconds long? Two seconds. Very good. So this vowel makes the noon sound elongated, yes? Yeah. So do you want to have a go at saying that? No, dear. Very good. Well done. That was excellent. So now imagine if we did vux here, how would you say that? Nudi. Um, okay, so the rule is if uh, there is a fatha on top of the last letter here, then this fatha becomes a skun. So if there is a skun on top of this ya, uh, do you know how, how you would say that? Do you want me to help you? Yes. So, okay, so the rule here I've told you is um, that the fatha will change into a skun if you're going to do work there, okay? So that means instead of saying nudia, because I'm going to do work here, I'm going to pause 
So I'm gonna say Nudi. Nudi. D. Y. Y sound. I need to hear that a bit. Nudi. Oh, actually, sorry, I'm making a mistake here. Um, if there is a ya, okay, remember I just told you there are three letters of um, mad alif vow ya. Yes? Yeah. And I didn't realize myself here that there is a ya here. Yeah? So yeah. the letter before the ya. Always when there is a um, mud letter, you look at the letter before. So in this case, before the ya, what letter is there? Dal. Dal. And what sign does that dal have? A kasra. A kasra. Right. So um, we learned that if, um, because we're doing work here, the fatha here will change into a skun. So this ya has become a ya sakin. So, and the letter before has a kasra. And we learned in the mud letter, if the letter before the ya sakin has a kasra, that means that this ya will become a ya mud. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So if this letter is now a ya mud, what does that mean? What must I do to this dal sound then? Elongate it. Very good. So how would I do that? No, D. Very good. Excellent. Well done. Does that make sense? Yeah. Very good. Um, do you want to have a go at this one here? Yasha. Very good. And if I was doing vux here, what would how would I say this? Yasha. Very good. Say that once more for me. Yasha. Yeah, just make sure I need to hear this little jerk sound of this um, Hamza here, okay? Yasha. Yasha. Very good. Um, Jazakallah for your help. Well done, that was very good. Jazakallah. Um, what we'll do now is we'll move on to um, practice practicing all the rules that we have learned so far in this um, chapter here um, and I've highlighted um, a few words and uh, if I can have another student to help me. Um, my please. sister. Oh yes, your sister. Okay, we'll start with your sister. Yeah? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good. Good, alhamdulillah. So, can you see this highlighted word here? Yeah. Can you have a try at saying this for me? Amanu. Uh, Very good. Say that once more for me. Amanu. Uh, Very good. Just this alif, what does it have on top of it? Do you remember? No. It has a vertical fatah. And if there is a vertical fatah, what does that mean? How long should the sound be? Two seconds. Two seconds. So can we try that once more? Amanu. Uh, Very good. Amanu. Uh, Amanu. Uh, Very good. Do you want to have a go at this highlighted? Right here. So we'll break it. Do you want to say up to this uh, alif here? La Isa. Very good. And do you want to start from here up to here? La Isa Khala. Okay. After the lam, there is a alif. So do you remember what type of alif this is? Um, no. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to look at uh, the letter before the alif. And if that letter has a fatha on top of it, which does this letter carry a fatha on top of it? Yes. Yes, it does. So then that means that this alif has now become a alif mud. 
Yes? Yes. So what does that mean? That means I must make this lam sound um, elongated. Yeah? I must make it longer for two seconds, yeah? Yeah. So how would I say that? Khala. Very good. And you want to try this bit here? Ba zuhum. Very good. Well done. Just with this letter here, it's better if you say du instead of zu because this is not a zal. We have to remember there are similar sounding um, letters in in the Quran, so we have to make sure that we differentiate be between them. Okay, so this is not a zal. This is a zad. Okay, so this is ba'duhum. Ba'duhum. Very good. Jazakallah. Um, can I please have another student? Yes, um, a young tifl, a one zero one one zero six. alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Fine. How are you? Good, alhamdulillah. Thank you for asking. Um, do you want to have a go at this um, highlighted part here? Atu haddisu nahum bima fattaha hallahu Okay, okay. Just up to here. So, um... If I was to do vakf here at the ha, how would I have done that? Uh, so if you start from here, B, how would I... So read this up to here and you're doing vakf here at this ha. B ma fataha. So the fatha will actually change into a skun, okay? If, I, if I'm doing vakf, which you are. Uh, because I'm asking you to do a work. So that means uh, that this, you would read this as Fatah. Fatah. Very good. Well done. Um, do you want to have a go at this highlighted part here? Alaikum. Very good. Well done. Uh, do you want to also have a go at this? Bihi in, <coughs> bihi in the Rabbikum. Okay, that was very good, except for, um, again, when you have this uh, mushadzit sign here, okay, that means you have to join this with this ra, yes? Yeah. So that means when you join these two letters, because of this sign here, you have to create a stressing sound. So when you, so you're kind of gluing these two letters together. So that means that you have to stress, um, this joining for two seconds so it's incorrect for me to say ra rabikum because i'm not stressing um the sound here when i say you have to stress the sound that means when i join the ra with the ba so that means rabbi can you hear b? when i do that rabbi i'm giving it two seconds there that's um that's what you're meant to do here okay yeah so do you um, want to yeah Robbi. Very good. So Robbikum. Robbikum. Very good. Um, do you want to have a go at this? So from here up to here. Okay. Okay, can I hang on, can I stop you right here for one second? The vowel, what does the vowel have on top of it? What the a fatta, and how long is a fatta sound? One second. Very good. And how long did you think you made this sound? More than. Yes. So let's have another go at this. Hang on. So you're still making the sound long. So what you're saying is awala. Okay, that's what you're saying. So okay, tell me what's correct. Is so the first way of me saying this is awala. Or I can say, awala. What's the yeah. correct way? The first or the second way? The second. Second way. So, awala. Awala. Very good. La, you have to make long because remember, it has a alif. This is a alif mud. Yes? Yeah. So, awala. 
Awala. Good. And he? Yalamuna Anna. Very good. Jazakallah for your help. Can I quickly have one more student, please? Yes. Um, another, uh, a young Nasra, N1202. Assalamualaikum. Walaikum salam. How are you? Good. Good, alhamdulillah. Um, do you want to have a go at this highlighted red hair? You see Runa? Okay, this ra, what does it have on top of it? It, it has a shadda. Yes, so if a word has a shadda, that means you have to join this shad letter with the previous letter, yes? Yes. So do you, do you know how to do that? Yes. Do you want to have a go? You siruna. Very good. Well done. Excellent. That was very good. Mashallah. Well done. Do you want to have a go at this one here? Miyuna. Okay. This year again has a? Shudda. Very good. So that means what must I do to this? So what, what letter am I joining the CR with? The mean. The mean. So I must stress this sound then, yes? Yes. So do you know how to do that? Yes. Have a go at that. Ummiyuna. Very good. Well done. Ummiyuna. Ummiyuna. Very good. So when I joined this alif here with the meme, you created uh, a sound, you stressed the sound when you joined these two letters and you did the same thing when you joined this ya and this meme because this ya again has a shadda on top of it, okay? So that was, um, that's why you have to um, stress this sound when you joined the meme with the ya as well. So you had to do it twice in this um, highlighted part here. So well done. Um, do you want to have a go at this uh, this highlighted part? Amaniya. Very good. Well done, mashallah. Well done. That was excellent. Do you want to have a go at this bit? Yaktubuna. Very good. And if I'm doing vux here, how would I say this? Yaktubun. Very good. Mashallah. That was excellent. Well done. You're doing really well. Mashallah. Do you want to have a go at this? Summa. Very good. And if I'm doing vaqf here, how would I do that? Thum. Very good. Um, Jazakallah for your help. That was excellent. Uh, <laughs> let, well done. Um, I think I'll quickly have one more student before I end this class and set the homework. Yes, there's a young girl, a 107. Asalaamu Alaikum. <laughs> Um, Asalaamu Alaikum, can you hear me? Um, can I have another student then, please? Um, okay, inshallah, he will be fine. Um, A11, one, one, uh, where's he gone? One moment. That's fine. The, A1110. A11. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. How are you? Fine. Good, alhamdulillah. Um, do you want to help me with this highlighted part over here? Okay. Ha zamin. Okay, there is a alif after the zal. So that means you must make the zal. This is a alif mud, okay? So that means I have to make the zal um, sound long for two seconds, yes? Very good, well done. And do you want to have a go at this? Very good. And do you want to have a go at this bit here? But. Very good. And this one here? 
Tamasana. Very good. And if I'm doing work here, how would I say this? No. So if I'm doing work here, I would uh, there would be no change actually. So that was a um, tricky question, uh, a confusing question, if you like. So um, if you're doing work here, there's absolutely no change. So you would still say it the same way. So you would say the masana. Dan, the mas, the masana. Very good. And do you want to have a go at this word here? Ayaman. And if you were doing work here, what would you do? Ayaman. In this case, there is a slight change. So, because the meme has a dhamma uh, fatha sign, um, it will become a normal fatha. Okay? okay. So, do you know how you would say it then? No. No. I'll help you. That's fine. Ayama. Ayama. So instead of um, having the double fatha, so having a uh, fatha sign. Um, you would just uh, have a normal fatha, just one stroke. So it would be ayama. Okay? Ayama. Okay, well then. Jazakallah for your help. Um, I'll leave it at that. Um, what I want to quickly do is um, tell you about... Uh, just give me a second. Um, I want to let especially parents know um, how to download the Tahsinul Quran um, book. It is better if you buy the actual book. It's not expensive at all. So it's better if you buy it, but it is also available online. And I'll quickly tell you um, how to download it. So um, if you go to Google and you type here in the web link um, NQC, dot org dot uk and go to the actual website over here um, and then you've got uh, this browser here so you've got courses um, and then if you just click on the scene or quran course and then i come up with this page over here um, and here you've got the option to download so uh, download the Holy Quran in simple Arabic, the Quran basic facts, um, prayers before starting. Um, so if you just click on that, you can download that. If, let's go back for a second. Um, yes, they need to go to the um, uh, the list of courses available where it says enrolled and level one G one, and it says uh, see more. So if you scroll down, yeah, and then where it says see more underneath G one. Yeah. So over here. So let me just scroll up a bit. So over here, see more. You click on that, and. Here is the whole book, essentially. So you've got recognition of thoughts, all of the lessons that we have covered so far. And so, um, for example, if we scroll down to the lesson that we've done today, Rules of Works, if I click on that, that will download and um, it's basically loading here, okay? So that's how, how to da download that. Um, of course, it is better to buy the book, but um, this is an alternative. Um, if I quickly... Finish the class with a with the ending prayer. If I can please have a student for that. A young Nasa N one two zero eight. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum Um, do you want to help me finish off with this um finishing prayer? Okay. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al Azim. Very good. And do you want to do the translation for me? Oh, Allah, have mercy on me for the great Quran. Jazakallah. And also, I forgot um, 
to tell you about your homework, but it is to practice what we did today. Um, so sit down with your parents or call yourself on your mobile phones and listen back to uh, the lesson we did today. Um, so I can learn.